Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, today we continue on into Matthew chapter 9. Uh, yesterday we started we started uh, this ninth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew with verse 1. And in that verse, uh, Jesus got into a boat after healing two demon-possessed men and went into his own town, uh, which history tells us is Capernaum. And so today we're going to start off, we're going to read verses 2 and 3 in Matthew chapter 9, which say, And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. So there's some men that are carrying their friend who can't walk. Uh, they carry they carry him over to Jesus. And Jesus simply says, Your sins are forgiven. So this is pretty awesome. I think something we overlook as well because we've read it. We may have read it several times. And we may lose its ancient Jewish context. So it wasn't uncommon for a Jewish rabbi to proclaim the forgiveness of someone's sins. However, it was done in the Old Covenant system, in the temple with animal sacrifices. Jesus does something countercultural here. He simply sees the man and says, Son, your sins are forgiven. You see, the scribes and the Pharisees were experts in Mosaic law. And this partic- these two verses start, <clears throat> excuse me, these two verses are the beginning of the resistance to Jesus' public ministry. The scribes and Pharisees realize that something's up. They accuse him of blaspheming. And this is because of his claim to absolve sins. In their mind, only God for, can forgive sins. The scribes and Pharisees said only God could forgive sins. And like I said just a few moments ago, the forgiveness was available only through the sacrificial system of the temple. And so Jesus did something very scandalous here. He skipped that whole system. He not only claimed to forgive, but he did it apart from Mosaic law. He did it apart from the Old Covenant. So I think that's something very significant. He did it apart from the he did it apart from the Old Covenant. So making making this declaration of forgiveness of sins while bypassing the temple authorities and the biblical requirements for animal sacrifices was something that only God can do. This is a declaration of Jesus' divinity. That's why the scribes and the Pharisees were upset. And this is why they started to scrutinize him more closely. And as we all know, they ultimately crucify him for doing so. Well, God bless you guys. Thank you for listening to this edition of the Daily Bible Podcast. Hope it was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, prayer requests, comments, anything like that, please email me at hopewithin18 at gmail.com. Other than that, if you enjoy the show, I ask that you please rate it and you please share it. God bless you guys. Have a great day.